evening, students. In this like lecture, we're going to do something a bit different than uh, what I normally do. So over the past, you know, since the start of the pandemic, and then in particular over the last week, a lot of students have expressed to me feeling uh, very anxious, uh, a lot of times having troubles focusing, um, things like this. So I want to share with you something that I learned uh, a long time back uh, when I was actually probably around your age. Uh, and this was something that I'm from a small town and uh, a quite famous psychologist um, and psychology researcher uh, moved into our town. Uh, his name was a doctor, oh, I should say doctor, Dr. Julian Silverman. He had a PhD um, and taught, I think, at Stanford and so on. Uh, and he taught me this technique, which I've used many, many times in my life, particularly as a student, um, which I find extremely helpful. I've taught it to my research students during the pandemic. I've taught it to a lot of people. It's going to be a little hard. I know you can't completely see me, uh, but I'll kind of explain what I'm doing a little bit. Um, but it, I find it helpful. So, you know, like give it a try and maybe it's not for you, but maybe it's going to help. Okay. So the first thing that you kind of want to do is to get every part of you at a right angle. Okay. So you're going to put your hands on your legs. You're going to keep them there, kind of like close to your knees. And then you're going to want that your feet are planted on the ground. I know you can't see mine. And that there's a right angle, right? A right angle. So your this could, you know, your your leg, this would be like your knee would go like this, down with your feet kind of planted on the ground. Okay. And then you're gonna kinda wanna do this with every part of you so that every part of you is a right angle. Um, so you want that your your arms are gonna go down and then be at a right angle, almost, might not quite be, um, when you're putting your hands on your legs. Um, and then the other, you know, the other thing is that you're going to want to be straight up. You know, I tend to slouch. Um, and you want to imagine that there's something like in the top of your head that's going to pull you up so that everything's kind of straight up um, and everything's at a right angle. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes. And you're going to imagine that there is so that there are tracks on your eyes. Okay, so these, it's gonna sound a little funny, but your eyes are gonna be sitting on tracks and they're gonna run from the front of your face kind of to the back, just kind of straight back. And what I want you to do is to imagine that you're gonna be moving your eyes, really when, you know, so he would explain to me as moving eyes, but imagine it's moving kind of like where your focus is within yourself. And you're gonna be moving it kind of from the front of your head to the back of your head, and then to the front of your head, to the back of your head. And keep doing that until this becomes something kind of very comfortable to do. And then where you're gonna wanna rest them is that I talked about there's a rod straight, you know, like kind of pulling you up at the top of your head that's gonna go straight down through you. You're gonna to wanna to rest them there, kind of right in the middle, okay? And by that, I mean kind of where your focus is. Okay, now, what I want you to do is now we're gonna be moving up and down. So we're gonna move up and down along that rod. We're gonna move from that place you're at right now to down kind of where, you're, where you feel like your heart is, right? Maybe kind of the center of where your breath is, where you like feel things when you feel like you're feeling them in your heart. And you're gonna move them kind of up and down along kind of now the rod and so between kind of the area behind your eyes along that rod all the way down to kind of where you, you feel like your heart is and back up again. You're gonna kind of do that a number of times so it kind of feels easy and comfortable. And then where you're finally gonna to wanna to let it rest is kind of halfway between uh, that place like kind of behind, between your eyes and where your heart is. And you're just going to kind of let it sit there. And kind of breathe for a moment until you feel a little bit more um, at peace. This is probably, you're going to want to do this slower than I was doing it, but I know that you can pause this or you can, you know, try it again a few times. It takes practice. Um, like a lot of things, this idea of kind of moving our center of focus within ourselves and lining ourselves up, it gets a lot easier 
um, with practice, but it's something that I found a lot of times um, when I was anxious, <laughs> when I was having uh, troubles focusing. Um, you, you haven't seen me in the classroom yet, um, so I do different variants of this. Um, another thing that I'll often do, so I also teach you know, I have a lot of research students, so one of the things, I mean, I tell them that I do this. I don't mind telling people I do this. You'll see me do this a lot of times when I start a class. Um, just to help get myself kind of focused and, you know, kind of feeling confident inside myself um, is I will often pose um, with my hands. I, I tend to put my hands kind of right close to my waist but behind my waist and stand kind of um, upright, again, with a kind of that rod feeling. And I just stand there for a moment. Um, and, and it helps me. I feel like most of us are not necessarily always comfortable in every situation. Um, but we still want to be able to do our best in every situation. Um, and this is one that I've always found really helpful because when it, it moves, you know, it kind of um, refocuses where your energy is um, and moves it kind of to a more comfortable place. There can be a lot of stimulus outside of us. I also get, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, on the creative side. I have a lot of ideas that run through my head. I'm, I'm on the sensitive side. I'm a musician. I, I feel a lot of things. I think a lot of things. There's always a lot of things going through me. And these kinds of techniques help me also so, um, to kind of um, bring myself, you know, to, to quiet all of it down and bring myself into somewhere where, you know, I can um, be calm and focused in a circumstance. Um, I do want to say this is just one technique I use. Um, I've learned other ones. There's the 54321, um, which also kind of grounds you inside yourself and your senses. Um, you notice five things you can see, four things you can feel, three things you can, um, you go through your different senses. So it depends on which ones are easiest for you. Um, but, you know, you try each of your senses and you go down and you see and you, um, feel and you, you know, you imagine or you smell scents, you taste um, and so on. That's another one that I actually use sometimes also. Um, this is very common during the pandemic that people are feeling a lot of anxiety. So also know you're not alone and there are also help resources online. So um, please also get those. Um, like there's a lot of, so I, I've, I've seen that Ontario has free mental health services right now. Um, and so, you know, make, t make sure that you're taking advantage of these things if you need them because um, it's very, you're not alone if you're stressed out right now and feeling anxious right now. Um, but I believe in you. I know you can do this and make it through this time and still actually have like a really successful um, period of time. Um, so I hope that's a little helpful. And uh, if you're in my classes, I will see you soon. Okay, bye.